All right. So can you guys see my uh, screen now? Yes, sir. All right, that's good. So uh, I think natapos natin kanina the favorite food uh, at the age 7, 7 to 12, and so on and so forth. Okay, so ito na yan. Okay, the next one is exercise number 5. So revise using select. Okay, so again, uh, very straightforward naman to. So, if in grade is 9 to 12, then it's really high school. If the uh, grade is 7 and below, ito, in grade na to. Anyway, just a variable lang naman in grade, display middle school. And then kapag grade 1, in grade 1, is elementary school. Okay? And then, kapag walang tumama dyan sa mga values na yan, then display Invalid grade. Invalid grade. Grade school, grade high school, grade elementary. Anyway, so yan daw yung gusto niyang gamitin. Uh, name ng label, so do not, do not mind it. And then ito yung mga result nila. High school, middle school, elementary, and then invalid grade. Okay? So iwan ko rin to as your practice assignment. So, okay? So next one, uh, the message box. So, uh, ilang beses na natin ginamit yung message box dito sa module 2. So, ito na talaga yung pinaka-in-depth, detailed, or mga information na matutuluran nyo about message box. Okay? So, first, so, ano nga ba itong message box na to? So, this one displays a message, uh, optional icon, and selected set of command buttons. So, the user responds by clicking a button. Okay? So, we have here the very first uh, syntax of the message box. So, yung pinakaunang nilalagay natin sa loob ng message box is the message. So, ito lang yung lagi natin ginagamit. Okay? Hindi pa natin nilalagyan kung anong type ba siya, kung ano yung title. Okay, doon na-introduce ko sa inyo to noon yung title, pero hindi natin nagamit. Okay, so dito magagamit na talaga natin. Okay? So, message, and then type, and then title. So, take note of those uh, sequence. So, message muna, type, and then yung pinakalas is title. So, ito yung mga description nila. What is really a message is, of course, yun na yung uh, message na yung display sa message box. And then, kung anong type siya. Okay? So, maraming klase ng uh, message box. So, pwede information type, uh, question type, or warning type, or exclamation type, or meron nito yung critical uh, type. Okay? Or yung uh, error type na sinasabi natin. Okay? So, ano yung mga types na yun? Okay, so ito. For the first one is information type. So meron tayo ng message, which is welcome to BB2005 Express, which is this one, the message. And then the next one is the type. So this one is message box style, that information. So yung type ng a message box na to is information. So ito yung mismo, okay, itong icon na to. Ito yung nag indicate na information mismo tong a message box na ito. Okay? And then the title, greetings, okay, which is this one. So I hope uh, I get same format again. Message muna, and then type, and then the title. All right. So ito na yung mga uh, example ng type of arguments na ginagamit natin sa message box. So ito yung pinakauna na ginamit natin, which is yung uh, information icon. So meron din tayong exclamation point or a warning icon. Okay, so madalas kinagamit to for warning. And then the third one is the question mark. Okay, and then yung pinakalas or yung pinakauna, so pabalik na tayo, is the critical icon or the error sign. Okay, so pwede nyo gamitin ito. Ito yung ginamit dito kanina, ito message box style that information coming from the symbolic constant, which is itong mga to, ito nasa baba. So message box style that critical, that question, that exclamation, and then that information. Or, pwede nyo rin gamitin yung value mismo. So, pwede nyo ilagay dito, instead of message box na that information, ilagay nyo yung value, which is, ang value ng information natin is 64. So, lagay nyo lang dito, 64. So, same lang yun. Pwede nyo uh, ipakita yung uh, information icon natin, uh, gamit yung value ng information, which is 64. Okay? So, two-way yan, kung paano nyo Papakita. So, pwedeng ito or ito. Alright. 
meron pa tayong additional na type of argument wherein ito naman yung mga choices. So dito, ito yung mga icon. Ito, itong mga icon dito sa left side na pwede ipakita. Okay? Another type is yung mga choices dito sa baba. So for now, initially or by default, uh, ang nagpapakita is yung okay lang. Kahit wala kong iset, okay lang yung magpapakita dyan. Kung gusto mo nang uh, magkaroon ng okay sa cancel so you have uh, to modify that one. So ito, uh, initially, meron tayong message box style that okay only, which is yun na nga, yung kahit hindi mo ilagay ito, uh, okay na mismo yun ang uh, nasa default uh, type of argument nun. So kung gusto mo magkaroon ng cancel, ilagay mo lang to Message box style that okay, cancel. Kung gusto mo naman ng uh, abort, retry, ignore, uh, ignore. So message box style that abort, retry, and then ignore. So basically, itatype mo lang, okay? After ng message box style. So, ito, okay, cancel. Dito naman, abort, retry, ignore. And then, kung gusto mo ng yes, no, cancel, meron din dito, yes, no, cancel. And then, meron tayong yes, no, button, and then, retry, and then, cancel. Okay? Or, again, pwede nyo gamitin yung value. Okay? Kung kabisado nyo man. So, for okay, so, zero yung value. For okay, cancel, one naman. For abort, retry, ignore, two. For yes, no, cancel, it's 3. For yes, no, button, it's 4. And then, the try, cancel, is 5. Okay, so, ah, hindi ko naman ito ipapamemorize sa inyo. Ah, uh, lang, reference nyo lang kung sakaling, ah, kailangan ko yata ng yes, no, cancel dito na option. So, kailangan mo tong value ng 3 or, ito na mismo, message box na that yes, no, cancel. Okay, so, para mas uh, makuha nyo kung paano ba ito, ito na yung pinaka-example syntax natin. Okay, so, message box, delete current record. So, ito is yung message na. Pangalawa is yung type. So, ito, message box standard question. Ito yung icon na ginamit. Ito na yun. Plus. So, take note, kagamit ko ng plus sa pangalawang argument. Message box style that yes, no. Para naman sa options. Okay, ito na yun. Yes, and then no buttons. And then lastly, so, yan, comma, is greetings. So, ito na yung title. So, mostly, uh, wala kayong problemahin sa message na ilalagay nyo, pati rin sa title, kayong bahala dyan. Uh, ito lang, ang kailangan nyo tandaan nyo, nasa gitna yung type. Uh, ano ba na naman yung information type? Uh, ano ba na naman yung uh, option na okay, cancel, or yes, no, or etc. Okay, so, ito lang naman yung ilalagay nyo. So, again, pwede nyo gamitin yung symbolic constant, which is, eto na nga, yan, yung dalawang yan, or pwede nyo gamitin mismo yung value, which is eto. So, yung message box sa that question natin, ang value niyan is 32. And then, yung yes, no button natin is yung value niya is 4 naman. So, check natin kapag yung question, 32 nga ba? So, yeah. 32 yung value. And then, yes, no. Yes, no is 4. Which is this one. Okay? So, mas madaling gamitin to kasi mas maiksi. Uh, yun nga lang, kung hindi mo kabisado to. So, mahirap. Well, pwede nyo naman hulaan. May, uh, para may pattern naman. So, yung isa is 16. Pangalaw is 32. Yung pangatlo is 48. Then, yung pangapat is 64. Yan. Incrementing by 16. Ito naman sa mga uh, buttons natin. So, mag search siya from 0 to 5. Okay. So, pwede nyo uh, pag-experimentuhan. Okay. So, ito yung two ways kung paano i-declare ito. So, same lang yan. Dalawang yan. Alright, so syntax number 2, returning values, of course, uh, kada button na i-click ng user is merong equivalent na value. Okay, yun yung value na makukuha mo, wherein kapag let's say yung value is 1, ano yung gagawin mong statement? Pag nakuha mo is 2, ano yung gagawin mong statement? And so on and so forth. Okay, so ito na yung mga value na makukuha natin. So kapag okay, yung makukuha mong value is 1, kapag cancel is 2, kapag abort is 3, and so on and so forth hanggang sa no button is 7. Okay? So, depende rin sa program nyo kung anong gagawin nyo kapag at yan, kung ano yung mga value na nakuha nyo. Okay? So, of course, meron siyang uh, variable dito wherein dito may store, ito, itong var name na to, dito may store yung value kung ano man yung clinic ng user from this type. Okay? So, kung nilagay mo doon is yes, no. So, dapat kapag clinic ng user yung yes, anong Anong gagawin ng program mo? So, ipoprogram mo yan mismo. Kapag tinik ng user yung no, anong gagawin ng uh, program mo? Okay? So, ganun. 
So for example, meron tayo dito, uh, team X as integer, uh, X is equal to message box. So are you sure to delete? So question ito, ito message, and then message box tell that yes, no. Okay, so meron siyang option na yes, no. And then yung data entry is just simply the title. So pag click ng user, yung uh, yes button ito, so makukuha mong value is 6. So sana ngayon mapupunta yung 6, dito na yun sa x. So dito, pwede kayo maglagay ng if condition. If uh, x is equal to 6, then, ayan, so bahala na kayo kung ano yung ilalagay yung program. Okay, so pwede dito, I should delete. So, i-delete mo mismo yung uh, dinid, gusto mong i-delete. Kapag no naman, i-cancel mo lang. Okay. Parang gano'n. Okay. And then, another example is x is equal to message box. This is an example of a message box, which is the message. Ano yun? And then, 1 plus 64. So, 1, this is 1. Okay, cancel. And then, 64 is the information. So, kung papansin ninyo, nagbaliktad yata, sir. Kasi kanina, Ah, yung nasa unahan, dito sa type, is yung uh, icon muna. Okay, yung type of argument na icon na ilalagay dito. And then, yung pangalawa is yung option. Actually, kahit magkabalik na dyan, okay lang. Kasi wala namang magkaparehas na value. So, yung mga icon type is 16, 32, 64, 48. Ito naman, sa mga button, so 0 hanggang 6. So, kahit magkabalik na sila, okay lang. So, yun pa rin yung makukuha mong result as long as alam mo yung, uh, ito yung value na ito. Okay. So, question? Any question so far? Uh, Ms. Peter or Ms. Achola? You have a question? Mr. Key or Miss Chola? No, are you there? Alright, so I think uh, accident ang uh, napindot ang microphone. Anyway, so moving on. So yung next one is the input box function. Okay, so dito na yung pwede kayong mag-input na message mismo or ng text. Uh, na parang message box din. Okay? Alright, so what is this input box? So this one displays a message and returns a string containing the contents of the input box. So medyo similar sa sa message box, message box, pero dito pwede ka na maglagay ng input. Okay? So here's the syntax, string var. So dapat, uh, this variable is declared as string. Kasi nga, yung makukuha mo uh, mismo dun sa input is uh, string na siya or mga words na. Okay. So, input box, and then close it up in parenthesis. So, ganun pa rin. Medyo similar pa rin naman siya. So, first uh, format is yung message. And then, yung pangalawa is title. So, dito, wala na tayong type. Wala na type of argument. Okay. So, dito, ang ilalagay muna sa pangalawa is yung title mismo ng input box. And then, third one is a default value. So, this one is optional. Okay. Pwede kasi maglagay ng uh, initial value dun sa input box mo. Okay? So, message is, text message should be displayed. Title is, title of course, of the bar of the input box. And then, uh, default value is the optional as string. Okay? So, para mas ma-appreciate nyo to, we do have an example here. So, example number one, name. So, just any variable. And then, input box, your message, input name. And then yung title, data entry. And kung papansin niyo yan lang yung nilagay niya. By default, meron na yung okay, cancel, at sa yung input box natin mismo. Okay? Or yung text box na pwede kang maglagay ng uh, string. Alright? So kung gusto mong maglagay ng default value, pwede naman, ito na, sa example number 2. So same pa rin, uh, any variable, and then input box, and then the message, Input name, data entry is the title, and then the third one is the default value, which is one de la Cruz. Okay, so pag ka na, na initialize or na initiate or na execute itong uh, input box, ang um, default value natin is one de la Cruz, which is this one. Okay, so another example. So input box, so yung message, input or enter. Quiz file name to open. 
and then the title, file name, and then the default uh, text or default string of our input box or default value, okay, which is questions that text. Okay, so I think hanggang doon na lang. Yeah, hanggang dito na nga lang. Alright, so any question or clarification so far regarding with this one? Input box. Question, guys, or clarification? So, from Mr. Lumanog, Nando, how about the others? Do you guys have a question or a concerns? Mentor. Okay. Right, so I think meron, yung iba kasi madami problema, so hindi rin naman talaga maiwasan. So, baka mag-extend na lang ko, i-extend ko na lang yung submission nyo ng uh, quiz 1 and 2 hanggang next week. Okay, so make sure na tapusin nyo na, okay? Kasi kayo yung kawawa. Uh, 50 points yung dalawang yun. Tapos meron pa kayong third quiz na uh, nandito sa module 2. So, hindi ko pa nalalagay dun sa canvas. Pero tapusin nyo na rin kagad para kapag nalagay ko na, sasubmit nyo na lang. Okay? So, ito mga natira dito, na-reach check. So, hindi ko na i- papagawa to. So, supposedly, assignment nyo to. Pero, madami na kasi kayong ginagawa. So, kung gusto nyo naman gawin, okay lang din. Mas maganda para makapag-practice kayo. So, this one is 1 to 9. Yan. 7 hanggang 9. So, madami-dami. So, kung gusto nyo naman gawin, okay lang din. Or, kung gusto nyo ng additional information, let's say, Sir, gusto ko pong gawin yung uh, uh, knowledge check. So, pwede naman. Gawin mo lang. And then, let me know para ma-check kung sakali. But not necessary. Pero mas maganda kung gawin mo para mas ma-practice mo talaga. Okay. So hanggang dun lang yung module 2. So next meeting or next week this coming Monday, uh, start na tayo ng module 2. Right. So kung wala ng question, so you guys may now go. And then to those who has a question or clarification or concern, so kahaba ba pa yung oras natin? I think meron pa tayong 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Pero wala na, then uh, pwede na. Okay. Sir, dun sa ano, circuit analysis dun sa MP2, yung lab 2 ngay, kailangan bang ano, kailangan yung back, may background picture na parang dun sa example? Hmm. Check ko. Hindi naman kailangan. Ang mahalaga working yung Pero pwede niyong palitan na actually. Zipper number 2. Ito ba? Zipper number 2. Yes, sir. Yung lab 2. Ah, laboratory yung lab two. Ah, yung circuit circuit niya. Kasi di ba may background picture? Kailangan ba namin gayaan lahat-lahat? Or basta gumagana hmm. lang? Ah, hindi na. Hindi na kailangan. So, kahit anong background picture na yung ilagay nyo dito. Okay? So, gayahin nyo na kahit lang. Kahit wala, sir. Okay lang. Okay. So, yung ginamit dito, baka hindi nyo pa alam. Hindi lang. Hindi ko sa ilang pangalan eh. Pero kung for program ako, nalalaman yung pangalan. I think yung ginamit doon is... Yung strip pa yun. Hmm... Tab, tab control ata. Tab control pa? Di menu strip? Di nga to. Tab control. Ah, ata. So, ito yung gamitin nyo. Okay. So, maglagay lang kayo ng ito, yung picture box dito, mga text boxes, and then label. And then, pagka-click nyo ng tab page to another tab ulit to. Na pwede nyo i-edit. Sir, saan pa namin kukunin yung picture? Sa saan? Yung MP2. Ito? Yan po. You can use the snipping tool. Okay. So, snipping tool. New. Oops, wait lang. Kailangan kita yan. Snipping tool. Yan. So, yun nyo lang. Crop nyo lang yan. And then, save. And then, yan na yung import nyo sa picture box. 
ito. So, yung mga nandyan na pictures, so pwede nyo kunin yan kaagad-agad. Yung mga yan. So, ito, given na to eh. Nagawa na to sa exercises sa module 1, pati sa parallel. Nandun din yung parang ganito. Sir, sir, um, ito sir na nagawa ito. ko, sir, yeah. nagawa ko na yung ano, electric circuit, pero yung ano ngay, yung sagot, yung sa decimal kasi, sir. Uh, okay. Magka, parang ano ngay, dun sa pang port na digit na round up sa akin, pero dun sa example nyo, Wait, sir, pakita ko. Okay, sige, wait lang. I-allow kita mag-share. Hindi. Teka lang, teka lang. Ako na lang mag-share ulit. Pakita ko na lang sa'yo. Kasi okay, pwede niyong gawin yun mismo. So, wait lang ha, Mr. Justin. Ito yung mismo. Saglit lang yan. Hanapin mo yung format. Format, format. Narito, nasa ba? Format, tapos 0.5. Black. Hindi sir na ano ko na yan, yung four decimals na ano ko na. Pakita ko yung yung sagot lang talaga iba. Ito mm, sir, pakita ko. See. Sir, ito yung sagot ko. Yan no, nagawa na. Tapos yung sa example nyo, yung tignan nyo uh, voltage, uh, resistant voltage ng 2. Magkaiba sir. Ano yung difference Pero, nila? Sir, yung sa pang port digit. Ano yung result? Uh, decimal point. Ito yung result nun sa akin, sir. Tapos yung result nung sa... Hindi ano? ko kasi makita yung value eh. Masyadong mali. Maliit. Yan, sir. Yan, 67. Sige, sa isa naman. Yung, ito yung sa akin, sir. 66. Okay lang yun. Ah, na-round up. Na-round up yung one. Oo. So, meron okay yung format sir. wherein hindi mo ira-round up. Pero okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Uh, okay na yan sa akin. As long as yung nasa yung pinaka- Malabo or pangatlo. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's good. Very good. Very good. Okay, any other question or clarification? Or any concern? So, ginawa to ni Mr. Walang makilala niya to. Si Sir Tandinian. So, nagtuturo pa rin naman siya ngayon. Kaso, pang quarter. Okay. So, kung wala nang queries, so pwede na kayong umalis para magawa nyo na yung gusto nyo magawa. Kung may mga queries pa, so, usap pa tayo. Yung sa quiz 3 po ba yung dalawang output? Saan po ilalagay? Sa text box or sa message box? Uh, kahit text box na lang. Or, oh, text box na lang para makita ka agad. Kasi pag uh, message box, kailan mo pang i-okay. So dalawang message box na magpapakita. So hassle yun. Go okay, okay. So text box na lang. Or pwede sa label actually. Okay po. Okay. 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 Yes. Yes, Mr. Taparejo, Mr. Arizalino, do you have a question? Uh, well, sir. Okay. Right, sige, kung wala na question, pwede na. Or ako, hinihintay nyo ako mag-end uh, ng meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, thank you, then. Okay, welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Yo. So, how about you guys, Mr. 
Yama and then Miss Christine and then Miss Jeffrey. Miss Mr. Jeffrey. I'll be making Miss. Right? So I think wala na kayong queries. So end ko na tong So pag i-clarify ko lang yung, di ba yung zip file lang ang i-session? Yes, yung zip file. Pero uh, pakita ko lang ha. Confirm ko lang. Kasi baka mamaya yung zip file yung isang, isang file lang. So, ganito kasi. Let's say, ito yung mga project. Okay? So, ito yung sinan ko sa canvas. Mini uh, pizza ordering. Ayan. So, sa loob kasi yan, meron pang tatlo. Okay? Ayan. Uh, Mahalaga yan. Yung mini pizza ordering na, uh, na folder. Nandito yung designer nyo saka yung code nyo. And then, yung solution mismo. Okay? So, dapat yung i-compress nyo is yung buong folder. Ayan. So, right-click nyo. And then, add to archive. And then, so, pwede kayong pumili as a RAR or zip file. So, make sure lang na naka-install dapat yung, uh, ano bang tawag dito? WinRAR. Yeah. So, dapat meron kayong WinRAR para makompress nyo or ma-extract nyo yung file. Then, click OK. And then, magpapakita na siya as ganyan. Oh. Okay. So, ito yung isa-send yung mismo. Each program. Okay. So, ayan. So, I hope that's clear. Uh, sino ba yun? Mr. Roberto ba or Mr. Uh, Jeffrey? So, okay na ba? Okay, sir. Thank you. Ah, uh, sige. Alright. Sige, bye-bye na. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.